Welcome everyone, here is how to activate eSIM in iPhone Air. So regardless of which country you are from, the physical SIM card slot has been removed. So instead, if you haven't set up iPhone Air yet, just head to the setup eSIM screen. If we have already set up iPhone Air, we will need to head to that screen manually. We do that by opening up settings. First of all, make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi, then head into mobile service, and then choose set up mobile service option. Now, if you have set up iPhone Air or not, we will see the same setup eSIM screen. If you bought iPhone Air through a cell plan, let's say you bought this phone through your carrier with AT&T or free or any carrier, then instead of set up eSIM screen, it should show your mobile data plan and you can just tap to add it like this. But if you bought your iPhone Air from Apple or you didn't buy it with a SIM card pre-installed, we have a bunch of options and I'll show them all. So if you want to move your physical SIM card into eSIM, make sure the physical SIM card is inside of your old iPhone like this. And then we're going to choose the transfer from nearby iPhone option. Or if you have an old Android, you can choose the Android as well. So let's choose transfer from nearby iPhone. And then this prompt should show up to transfer the phone number. Now, if it does not show up on both devices, head to the control center by swiping down from the far right and just look for the Bluetooth icon. So I'll long press here and just make sure Bluetooth is on on both devices. If this prompt still doesn't show up, use power and volume down to turn off and restart both devices. And once you try again, it will work. So let's tap on continue to transfer the phone number. And then we have the verification code. So we just need to type in the code. There we go. If it shows a blue bubble, that means you need to use your iPhone camera from your old phone to scan that bubble. We now have the transfer phone numbers option. If this doesn't work, I'll cover how to fix it in a bit. But if it does say transfer phone numbers, that means you can move the physical SIM card into the eSIM for iPhone Air. So just tap on your phone number in question and then tap on continue and then choose the transfer option. Now we see confirm transfer on your old phone and you can see we just need to use double click to confirm. So I'll just double click and then we have confirmed the transfer. Now patiently wait for the eSIM to activate. You can now see that the transfer has started. That's excellent. We can tap on continue and our old phone is not needed anymore. If you moved the physical SIM card into eSIM, the physical SIM card will stop working. You should remove it from your iPhone. If you see mobile plan set up complete, congratulations, you now have moved the SIM card and eSIM's activated. However, many SIM cards don't support the eSIM activation. So if you see your SIM is not supported, this phone number can't be transferred contact your carrier for assistance. If you want to set up the eSIM, you will need to call up the carrier using your old phone. And when you call up the carrier, you're going to ask them to convert your physical SIM card into eSIM. Once you have done that, you will get a QR code and I'll show you how the QR code looks like in a little bit. So if we need to use the use QR code option, because we can't transfer eSIM or physical SIM from our nearby iPhone or Android. What we need to do is look for your eSIM QR code. This is how it looks like. You need to call your carrier if you don't have this code to request one. And then on our iPhone Air, we're just gonna choose the use QR code option and then we'll scan the QR code. So just use your iPhone Air camera to scan that QR code. So just place the QR code in the camera. It now says enter verification code. This doesn't always appear. So if it doesn't, don't worry. If it does appear, in my case, I have a different email and then that different email shows the confirmation code. So I'll just type in the confirmation code 
and then tap on next. Now I already used this SIM card, so the reason why it shows eSIM cannot be added is because this eSIM is actually already activated in this phone. But if you do get an error and you haven't used the eSIM before, just call up the carrier again and then you'll be good to go. So while eSIM is more complicated than the physical SIM card insert and eject, I hope this video was useful. And real quick, YouTube do not promote my videos like they used to. So if you did find this video useful, it really would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, I found this video really useful. Thanks. It really means the world to me. And if you didn't find this video useful, leave any questions, any concerns in the comment section. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye bye.